I was on Vaughan Live last night with Coctopus, Dick Coughlin, DPI Jones, Live Life and others, and we were discussing a 2013 Nobel Prize nominee. Have you ever fancied winning a Nobel Prize? I know, you probably never will, nor will I. Perhaps if my washable toilet paper had caught on, things would be different. Never mind. The next best thing might be knowing that you helped make sure that someone really deserving won it. This is Malala Yousafzai. She has been officially nominated for this year's Nobel Peace Prize by the Norwegian Parliament. She will be 16 on the 12th of July 2013. At the age of 12, Malala was writing for the BBC under an alias. At the age of 13, Malala contributed to two documentaries for the New York Times and can be seen here being clapped into a presentation for the Kapal Kaur Foundation, which provides a voice for youngsters in Swat Valley. In October 2011, Desmond Tutu nominated Malala for the International Children's Peace Prize. In December 2011, Malala was awarded Pakistan's first National Youth Peace Prize. This 15-year-old girl was such a threat to the Taliban that they ordered a two-man team to assassinate her. Her bus was stopped on the way home from school. The brave Taliban soldiers boarded the bus and asked for her by name. Apparently, her school friends said she was not on the bus, but the courageous commandos from her home valley fired into the bus, hitting Malala in the head and neck and also hitting two other girls. Malala survived the shooting. Other girls have not been so fortunate. This video is not about religion. I have no interest in discussing that here. I just want to ask you a simple question. Do you think it should be a basic right for all children to receive an education? If your answer to that simple question is no, then please unsubscribe. If your answer to that simple question is yes, then I think you can spare 30 seconds out of your day to click on the link below and sign Malala's petition. Her petition is simple and short. To Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, United Nations Secretary, I stand with Malala in demanding that the leaders of the world end our global education emergency after the recent violent murder of 14 girls in Pakistan who simply wanted an education. I support the civil rights struggle of 57 million girls and boys who will not go to school today or any day. Side by side with Malala, we demand that at the United Nations General Assembly, world leaders agree to fund the new teachers, schools and books we need and to end child labour, child marriage and child trafficking so that by December 2015 we meet the Millennium Development Goal promise that every boy and girl be at school. We must be united in this fight and we must act now. Thank you for standing with us. And that is it. Either you care about education or you do not. Either you can be bothered to spend 30 seconds doing something about it or you cannot. And if you think votes don't count, prove yourself right. Sign the petition and then come back in a year and tell me I told you so if nothing has happened. Thanks for watching.